Hi everybody, so today what we're going to do is to show you how to install three or three or four uh, add-ins add for Excel uh, for decision analysis. Okay. Now there are not a lot, but you know, there are many uh, different decision analysis, decision tree. Um, in the Markov model uh, software packages. The reason why we're using this specific software is because you know it's simple to use it, it has a simple interface, uh, it's not expensive. Uh, again, I have no disclaimer, you know, I don't have any uh, anything with the company. Uh, but you know it's it, it, it's a nice piece of software. So and it works through Microsoft Excel. So you know I, in my opinion that's a, a, a big plus. So first thing that you do is um, very important. I'm going to be using the 2003 version of Microsoft Excel uh, because I know it works well with uh, uh, these three uh, soft, uh, uh, software uh, add-ins, and uh, I know I've heard it works with 2007. I tried with 2010, the latest version of Microsoft, and I couldn't get it to work. Which doesn't mean it doesn't work. Uh, it's just that I could not get it to work. So basically, these files uh, they are add-ins. They look like uh, regular Excel files, but they are not. So you basically have to install them. So the way you install this in Excel 2003 is that you go to Free Add-ins, and then here you are going to have a list of uh, available add-ins. Now. Because in my uh, Excel, I have already uh, installed them previously, they are, they are listed here. So the software package is RiskSim, SimSit, uh, and Tree Plan Decision Tree. Now, I am going to pretend that I didn't have it, and then we're also going to install something that comes uh, with Excel natively if you install the full version. This is extremely important. Whenever you do the install for Excel, you have to install the every, absolutely everything. So in the 2003, you have to select when you're installing Excel, uh, run everything from the computer. Otherwise, this solver is not going to, 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 to work. So before we, we, we make the installation, let me just tell a little bit about uh, what each one of these uh, can do. So uh, solver which is the one that comes along with uh, uh, Microsoft Excel uh, does something called linear programming. I'm going to stop short here. I'm not going to tell what linear programming does uh, because we're probably going to have some videos, but I, I can just tell you that this is essential for uh, three decision, decision models. Uh, the second one is a package called Free Plan. And Free Plan basically allows you to create decision trees. And hopefully we're going to have some other videos later about this. Then there is something, I always forget the name, uh, called RiskSim. RiskSim does simulation. So basically it does what we call Monte Carlo simulation, which, is, which comes from the city of Monte Carlo. Um, formula 2. And then third, uh, we have something called SimSit. That's how it's spelled. Capital I. And uh, SimSit does sensitivity analysis. Again, later on, we're going to see what uh, you know each one of these things means. Okay. But back to the installation. Well, what you do is this. Let's just pretend uh, that I didn't have any of these uh, software packages. Now, soft, uh, Solver will be here, okay, if you have done the installation of Excel properly, but the other ones are not. So, assuming that you know we don't have any of the risks here, since it's for treatment, what you do is that you hit Browse, okay. It's going to take you to a folder called Add-ins. Uh, now, you can put the free installation files for these uh, free add-ins in here. Um, reality is, you know, Excel doesn't really care where you have put them. I have put mine on uh, C, my C drive. So basically, I come over here, and then I select the first one, click OK. 
Uh, in my case, because I have installed it before, it's going to tell me that it already exists, blah, 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 blah. But in your case, it would add uh, risks in. And I do the same thing for the other two. Kind of a pain because you have to navigate every point. What you do. Edit sense it. And I'll add in the last one. Which is three points. Now I already have them added here and uh, you know each one of them is checked. Uh, and then I'm also going to select solver because it's going to be important for decision analysis and I click OK. It takes for a while and then uh, OK it's working. So let me tell you what I just did. So in order to pass to see whether uh, tree plan uh, which is the primary one we're going to be dealing with, at least in the beginning, uh, was uh, installed. Uh, basically, what I do is to click on a Control Shift key. Key is in Tony. And then if I click New Tree, it's basically going to give me a tree. Um, later on, we're going to see this. Well, let, let's do this now. I'm going to show you some of the. So if you've got this. Uh, you're in good shape. Okay, so basically you're up and running. Uh, this is a small tree. Um, and later on, we're gonna go over the details. But let me just tell you that this function that we just used, called uh, uh, you know Control Shift T, is going to be the primary way by which uh, you're going to interact with a uh, 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 tree plant. So, for example, if I click on this terminal node here. And I click on again Control Shift T. So the only uh, command you have to know, well, not the only, but the main, one of the main ones. Uh, let's say you know I want to change this to an event node, uh, and I click here, change to event node, and I want to have two branches, and I click here, uh, you know, it will show you the the little circle. Now, Again, I'm not going to go over uh, some of the, the details of how to put e, e, e tree together, but I want to, you know, just make two points here in relation to decision tree because you know this is the basic. Uh, in terms of decision tree notation, you have three main uh, uh, types of uh, decision nodes, uh, of which you know I'm going to cover two here, and we'll cover the others uh, later. But the square. Uh, basically means a decision node. So a decision node is something that a human being will make a decision. So I can go, you know, one path or I can go another path. This other node, which you know, some people, uh, uh, you know, we call it different things, but uh, you can call it a, a chance node. In a chance node. Uh, Basically, you know, you have a probability of uh, uh, branch A or branch B happening. Okay? So, for example, this could be happening at a probability of, say, 60%, whereas, which is 60% equal to 0.6, uh, which would leave us, if you only have two branches, uh, with a probability of 0.4 or 40%. As you know, uh, you know, if you only have uh, two options, you know, the two uh, the two numbers we have to sum up to, uh, you know, one or 100%. We have three exactly the same thing. Anyway, this video was just to make sure that, you know, you had uh, everything installed and running. And then in the next videos, you know, we'll cover everything in more detail. Bye.